G'day YouTubers, I'm Dodger Moore and welcome to my channel. Well, it's Easter Saturday and the weather, well, it's... Well, as you can see, the weather is absolute crap. One minute sunshine, next minute rain. Icy cold and real windy. And I'm stuck inside and today I'm going to do a video on sleeping um, equipment for motorcycle camping. Talking about a sleeping bag, pillow and mattress. Okay, let's go. First up, mattress. Um, I've got uh, a Thermo Rest mattress. It's uh, light and compact, self inflatable. Um, you probably just need to give it a bit. Uh, at the end about 10 puffs to give it just that little bit of extra firmness about it. Um, they are a great insulation as well to keep the cool off the, from the ground um, into your body. So yeah they're absolutely ideal and the best thing about it as you can see it is quite compact. Um, <clears throat> we've got two of these because um, my wife and I we did a trip about 10 years ago and that's how old this is and it's still going strong um, and what we've done is we put a little bit of velcro on the side of them so we can actually join them together and um, yeah when we uh, traveled and were camping in a two-man tent we had both of these velcro together and yeah it was great it worked really well so highly recommended thermo rest excellent product so with the Thermo Rest uh, mattress, um, yeah, you just basically take it out. Uh, I've got a little Velcro strap that goes around it. Undo that. Um, you can see the little bit of Velcro that I've got on the sides there. That's so I can actually join that to the um, other Thermo Rest. You unroll it, open up the valve and it will self inflate um, the best thing to do is actually when you get to your campsite probably this is probably one of the first things you would do is you would take this out open up the valve and lay it in the sun and you will be surprised on how much it actually expands it's absolutely fantastic okay I'll lay this all out and show you the size of it okay that's the size of it it's not very wide or um, it's not it's long it's long enough for me this is the long version and um, I'll show you the thickness of it it's probably just under an inch thick and um, as I said before it provides good insulation from the ground so something like this will actually give you a couple of degrees more warmth in your sleeping bag whereas if you were to use a sleeping bag directly onto the the base of your tent you would get a lot of cool air coming or a lot of cold coming through the the base of your um, tent from the ground so yeah as you can see it's probably the same a little bit shorter than my motorbike fare but yes I'm happy with this product the next product I've got is again by uh, Thermo Rest. It's actually a pillow, and um, I've actually upgraded this. I don't actually use this one anymore, but it is still pretty good. It does compact down to quite a good size. It's lightweight. Um, it's actually very, very comfortable. But I've actually gone now for a smaller option uh, from Cedar Summit. This little inflatable um, pillow, and uh, yeah, this is absolutely fantastic. Um, I still like this one a lot better, but um, when it comes to size and being compact, um, if I don't have room for this, it stays, and I use this one here. So, with this uh, Thermo Rest Pillow, all you have to do is open it up like that, and turn it inside out again. Shake it around a bit, and uh, tuck that in, and you've got your it's uh, really really comfy um, 
This pillow is actually probably better in a sense that it doesn't get cold whereas the other one gets cold um, because it's inflated. But yeah, so that's your uh, thermo rest pillow. It just takes up a bit more room than the um, Cedar Summit. But it's about the same, probably in weight wise a little bit more as well, but not much. Okay, let's open up this uh, pillow and I'll show you. It. This is one of the smaller versions. You can actually get them in a larger version. Um, I got the small one. I don't know why. I could have actually got a bigger one because uh, maybe it was to do with the price. Um, basically, you self inflate. Oh, let's get this right. It's always a pain. There you go, <clears throat> there's my pillow, uh, Cedar Summit, good little product, nice and light, and then when you're ready to deflate it, it's just a matter of pulling both of these ones out, and yeah, Bob's your uncle. Okay, so that leaves us with one item to go, well actually I've got two items to go, sleeping bag. So this is my sleeping bag and you're probably thinking, geez, that's huge. Well, it's actually been stored in an airbag and normally with down sleeping bags, if you're not using them, don't leave them in its original bag, air them out because otherwise what will happen is all the feathers inside will actually, they will stick together and it's really hard to fluff them up again. Okay, now these um, sleeping bags, they're a uh, Mac pack and they're graded to minus 10 degrees. Now again, I've got two of them. And um, when I purchased both of these, I mean, they are expensive uh, Mac pack gear. Um, we bought one, which is a right-handed um, zip up. And the other one is a left-handed zip up. The beauty about this is that you can actually zip them both together. So it acts like a double sleeping bag um, absolutely fantastic again they're minus 10 go to minus 10 degrees now these are 10 years old as well and um, they've been absolutely fantastic and i haven't uh, had i haven't had a need to upgrade these yet so now comes my uh, final uh, product and um, this one is made by Cedar Summit and it's actually a compression bag and um, this size is a medium size now would you believe that I can get both those sleeping bags in here and it is absolutely amazing what, how it works is that you shove basically you shove the sleeping bag in there and then you push all the air through this orange section here and it doesn't allow the air to go back in again so I'll show you by putting one in I'll, do one sleeping bag and if you want me actually i'll do both the sleeping bags and see how we go but I, i'm sure i've done it before that i've got both sleeping bags in there okay let's go the race is on and that's another thing too with uh your down sleeping bags, you don't actually have to roll them up, you just shove them in to the bag. Um, I can remember my old sleeping bag, which was synthetic uh, sleeping bag. Yeah, you used to have to roll it and try and get it into a uh, bag. But in this case here, with uh, down sleeping bag, you just shove them in. And I tell you what, that is, it does make it great. Now these compression bags, they, I think they retail for around about, I think it was about 50 bucks at Anaconda. And it might sound like a lot to a bag. The beauty is they're also waterproof as well. Now they've got a roll top on them. You need to roll them three times. One. Let's do that again. One. Two, three. And then you use these clips to go across like that. 
So as you can see, that's two sleeping bags in that now. And then what you do is you need to get this flap over the top of it. And it helps when you've got all of them done nice and loose, which I haven't, because the last time I used this was only for one sleeping bag. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on this little stool and show you how this works. So now I've got both the sleeping bags in there. We've got the little flap that goes over the part where I've just shoved them in. And what you do is you basically just pull down on these little straps down here. And you try and do them evenly at the same time or one at a time. And basically that is it. And what you can do is you can even compress it down even more by using your body weight. And then keep pulling on these. And hopefully the camera's got all this. Okay. So there you go. That is two down sleeping bags. Um, and I reckon that is pretty well compacted. Again, it's uh, Cedar Summit compression bags. Absolutely magic. And they're waterproof. Okay, so yeah, that's two sleeping bags now in that bag. So let's take them out. It's just a matter of undoing these straps as far as they can go. Pull the flap down like that, undo the little clip, roll, and then there's a little handle here which is absolutely great, it helps you to pull the products out, so that's one sleeping bag, and that's two sleeping bags. Okay, so I'll lay these sleeping bags next to each other and you can get an idea of how this works with having two sleeping bags, I'm not going to zip them together. But um, yeah, it'll give you an idea if you're uh, two people that are wanting to travel together, husband and wife, girlfriend and boyfriend, this is a great little setup. Okay, that's the two sleeping bags laid out onto my garage floor. There's the KLX so you get an indication of the size of them. Now obviously when you purchase a sleeping bag, if you're a tall person, you'll probably need to get an extra tall version. These are just standards. Now you can see how the zips line up there in the middle. That's basically how you zip them together. First you have to unzip them totally and then when you zip them together you create a double sleeping bag. The good thing about these sleeping bags too, they've got separate little zips down the bottom. If you get hot feet you can dangle your feet out. Over in the head section they're hoods. So you can actually put the pillows inside there and they won't slide away. And that's for both of them. That one's just, just turned itself in. And then there's little pull cords here to tighten up this round here, the round area, which um, makes the pillow more or less stay in place. So yeah, that's the Mac Pack sleeping bags so when it comes to sleeping bags um, I can only make a few recommendations on my experience and I would honestly say spend that extra money you know spend that extra money and get a down sleeping bag because they are fantastic I mean you gotta understand like you might go traveling and you might be on the road for five or six days you, you want to have decent sleep you know a good mattress is also required and a pillow as well I mean you can always make the pillow a little bit bigger by placing your um, motorbike jacket underneath but um, the sleeping bag yeah that's something I would highly recommend to spend a bit of extra cash on well youtubers this one's gonna be a nice short video and um, yeah that's your uh, sleeping well my sleeping um, camping items um, yeah, what can I say? Um, it's not, it's not cheap getting some of this stuff. It is quite expensive. It's taken me years 
to build up my um, camping collection to <clears throat> the way I want it. Excuse me. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I'm very happy with the products that I do have now. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Until next time, I'll see you all later.